Hello everybody and welcome to this Elite Dangerous live stream. Sorry Steve, didn't tell you it was starting. No. Just sort of <laughs> thought you'd know. Push the button. Yeah, bam. Hello. Hello, I am Will Flanagan, a member of the community team here at Frontier Developments. And tonight I am joined by the wonderful and lovely Steve Kirby. Hi folks. Principal game designer on Elite Dangerous. Yep. How are you me. doing Steve? I'm really good. You're really some, good. Some might say I'm great. <laughs> Sorry. What's, what's that? What? What's that? Oh, it, it, it's beard. With be with crate beard, with crate beard, with a gr crate beard. With crate beard comes crate responsibility. <laughs> Just take that off. How's everybody doing? Thank you for joining us Hi, this, this evening. Um, very exciting stream tonight. Yeah, yeah, really exciting. We can finally talk about it. We can finally talk, finally about, talk it. about it. I'm excited for lots of reasons. So yes. let's let's go down through the list. On Thursday, yes, this Thursday, twenty yes. eighth, yes, the next update comes out. Three point one. It does. Chapter two. Chapter two. Oh, beyond. Yes. And with chapter two will come the crate. Yes. Which I will fly. Which yes. I'm very excited to say. <laughs> I'm going to fly for the first time. On the live stream. On the live stream. Ed did, Ed did the Ed did the chieftain. He did. So I'm very keen to be doing doing the crate, the crate ah, this evening. Fantastic. Um, so we've got that. We've got that to come. We've got lots of little things to talk about. Lots of things to do. Yeah. Those to showcase. Um, yeah. Are you excited for 3.1? I'm very excited for it. Yeah. I mean, it's it's you know it's a smaller update. Yeah. Um, it's true. As, as we obviously make a really, really, really big update yes. um, in quarter four. But yes. yeah, I'm very excited for it. It's, it's got some lots of cool stuff and quality of life features and uh, obviously the two new ships. The two new uh, ships. So yeah, and some more interactions put in the game, some, some more bits and pieces, so yeah. Yeah, it's wor it is worth mentioning that yes, while this is one of the smaller updates, mm. um, uh, if you, especially if you compare it to the previous update, we have a big, 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 big Huge. update coming in Huge. quarter four. There's loads of discussion about the some mm. of the features, focus yeah. on the focus feedback forums on yes. our forums. So check yes. those out if you haven't. Please do. Yes, and of very useful. course, what else have we got? We've got um, oh, it was a live stream last week. Yeah. You spoiled loads of details. Well, we didn't spoil loads of details. We we gave a bunch of information to, to the lovely people. Ah, oh, just like that. Just like amazing. That. So there you go. Ed said we could. Oh, if Ed said it's fine. Yeah, Ed um, said we could. So yeah, worth noting that you are on a live stream with me. I am. So it could mean that the lights go out, the audio goes off. So if that happens, stay calm. Don't sit panic. in your seats and just oxygen masks will fall from the ceiling. Ceiling exits are here, here, yeah. and over yeah. there somewhere. Life jacket. A little, a little door trap there. It's door trap. Trap door. Trap door. <laughs> yeah. So if I suddenly fly backwards and disappear. Yeah, we've got one just to eject. If you say anything out of tone, bam, you're off. You're off. You're finished. Um, okay. Let's jump into some of the content, content but first, yes. before we do that, um, you may have noticed, I certainly did, I, I, was, li I was live when, when this happened, but a trailer dropped, mm -hmm. the Commander Chronicles trailer with the crate dropped. Oh yes. So we're going to show it again for those that haven't seen it, um, uh, and it's just cool, and you, you get to see what it means to be elite in it. So it's a really good one, I'm going to press this button right Push now. Push the button. Space is cruel. You fly too high. They'll lock you right back down. Remind you just how small you are. How fragile. But I'm a pilot. A commander. Always will be. So give me a ship, a crew, maybe a little luck, and I'll show this galaxy what Elite really means. See what's out there. There you go. It's cool, isn't it? I love that. Yep. It's really good. Um, I should. Work, it's worth mentioning that that is a cinematic uh, sort of trailer for the crate. Yes. Um, that's coming in this update. It's mm -hmm. very exciting. Just the crate. Um, just the just the crate. Just the crate. So let's jump into the game. Yes. This is. 
for those that don't know. Why don't you tell us, Steve? What well, is this? This is the other ship. So we, we thought we'd quickly go through the specs uh, for the Challenger, um, and yep. we can show you that. And then uh, before we, we actually get to the main event. So um, while we've shown it on screenshots, we, we've never really gone through the, the exact specs. Yes. So we thought we'd do that. And uh, you get to be, again, the first person on the live stream to fly, fly the Challenger. The Challenger. Very cool. Um, we'll, so, go, we'll go up close yeah. very soon. So, I'll yeah, just do just a, little have a, have a little fly around. Fly around here. Um, so yeah, so this is, this is the Challenger. So it is a sister ship to the Alliance Chieftain, Yeah. obviously, um, made by Lake on Spaceways. Um, it's a bit heavier. Yeah, uh, packs slightly bigger punch, so mm -hmm. it's got more hard points. It swapped out uh, a large hard point for two mediums, so it, the DPS numbers come back, and it, it, it actually packs a bit of a harder punch. Yeah, um, it's tougher. It's got more armor, more shields than the, the chieftain, so should be able to take a little bit more punishment um, because of the extra weight and the extra armor. Yeah. It's slightly less maneuverable, but I've been informed very reliably that you shouldn't really notice that much of a difference. Um, uh, in its maneuverability. Um, it also has more internal slots uh, than the Chieftain. So it swaps out uh, a couple of, yeah, a couple of slots um, that the, the Chieftain, so, it, so it's basically got, um, got more slots. So it makes it, gives you a few more options, but it is very much still a combat ship. It's focused on. Yeah, it's focused on combat. I mean, it's still, uh, as, as the, um, the Chieftain was, it's, it's uh, Lake on making alliance Military vessels, in, yes, uh, uh, because of the Thargoid incursion. Yes, and life of, and life. Yeah, the, of everything, Thargoids. everything becoming more uh, more dangerous. Then, yeah, we, we, they've stepped up and said, right, we're gonna we're gonna make these ships. So that's it. Yeah. So um, it's cool, isn't so it? I keep trying else. to show it, but it's, <laughs> I keep bumping into it. Yeah. Um, so here that's it is. It, right? Yeah. So there's there's the chieftain. So if you you know, pop into the cockpit, maybe, and we'll do that. Have a bit of a fly around. I can't remember how to get out of here. There we go. Um, one thing, it doesn't make, um, actually, if someone's asked, I hope yep. the Challenger doesn't make this Chieftain superfluous. I um, mean, it doesn't. They, they do still have their role, so. Um, but yeah, it, it is just, yeah, it's just a variation on, on the theme. Um, so, uh, um, one thing we sorry should do, to. which we tend to do with all ships, have you boosted yet? Not yet, I'm going uh, I, I like to boost. I like to boost into the station. Yeah, I, I like to. <laughs> I, I'm gonna. I saw your docking. <laughs> your docking the other day. Yeah, that wasn't good. I boosted inside just before putting my landing gear down. It was yeah. very, very terrible. Um, Steve, if you just oh, come, over, come here, over a little bit, don't be shy. Ooh. Um, also, yeah. if you have any questions about the next update, oh, three point one, please do. Please put them in the chat. We'll try yep. to. We'll try to answer them. There's a lot of you, so ho uh, um, hopefully so we'll be able to. Uh, yeah. Uh, answer as many as we can. So, well, a couple of questions that have come up. Does, yeah, it have, uh, does the Challenger actually have a fighter bay? Uh, it doesn't have a fighter bay, so um, it does not. It does have uh, one additional uh, multi-crew seat, so um, obviously you can have a gunner there on that, but it, yeah, it doesn't carry a fighter bay. Um, it's a mid-sized ship, so I've got some notes here, so yeah, <laughs> it's a mid-sized ship. Um, oh, I'm going too fast. It's uh, Alliance and Independent ship, so no rank requirements to, to unlock it. So you don't have to be any naval rank to unlock it. Um, it has. So I can rattle through the hard points uh, while you're while you're docking. While I'm looping, looping and docking. Uh, so it has uh, hard points are one large, three medium, and three small. Uh, it has four utility slots, and so it has a multi crew seat. Um, and then we can once you're docked, we can go into outfitting and have a look at the. Uh, Internal slots and just take a look. And um, the optional internals, yeah. So we've got some questions about how much does it cost? How much does it cost? <clears throat> right. So, obviously, the prices fluctuate depending on system from system to system. Uh, take an average. Its approximate price is twenty six to thirty million credits. So, cheapest places to find it, it'll be around the twenty six million mark. Most expensive, it's around the thirty million mark. So somewhere in between that mm -hmm. should um, yeah should, should Let, cover you with one. Of let's these. Uh, let's do a little boost here. I'm going to turn the volume up Come slightly. On. Go on. Some nice sound. Always love the boost sounds on our ships. That's good. Right. I haven't got enough energy. <laughs> ah. uh, okay. Well, that's, that's that's we haven't we haven't actually in, you know outfitted this at all. We just literally no, it's <laughs> got in it, gone out into space, and and uh, yeah. Yeah, we just wanted to show you guys so, straight away what it looks like. Yeah, it um, it's worth mentioning we are on a special build yes. that may just crash and yes. go crazy, so we apologise yes, if that we're happens. Yes, we're on a development build, yes. so um, 
Yeah. So now everybody gets to watch me. Um, yeah, watch you dock. Dock. That'd be fun. I can have a look and see if they try docking things. with flight assist off. I just know that won't go well at all. I'm going to take a look at some of the internal slots very shortly. Yep, just give give Will a chance to dock and we, we can go through that. Um, so again, just to reiterate, how much does the crate cost? Uh, more people asking. Um, somewhere between 26 and 30 million credits um, will get you a, a, sta crate. a standard uh, challenger. Oh, uh, the, the crate, we'll, we'll go through in we'll a minute. We'll go through yeah. in a moment. Um, we're going we're gonna to go through that. Um, the challenger is about 26 million. Uh, yeah, it's 26 right. to 30 million. Yeah, approximately. Approximately, yeah. I mean, I, I've literally just gone through a bunch of systems and said, right, how much does it cost here and here and here, and yeah, take an average and then yeah, give me give me a range. Just gonna reverse. <laughs> Do a three point turn. <laughs> Get a landing gear down. It's just yeah, it's just well, I'm always worried about boosting. There we go. Did that one. Yeah, it's all good. Um, it's it's landing on a live stream. Yes. You should never underestimate how hard it is to play again on a live stream. No, it, it does make you actually respect live streamers. Yeah. I'm glad you respect us, Steve. Yeah, I mean, it's, yeah. A, it's yeah, you, you, make, you can make it look easy. Um, which, <laughs> <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah, but yeah, I mean, I always find it hard to, to I mean, when you're demoing something or when it, whenever somebody's watching you, it's like, well, the pressure's on. Yeah, and there's a lot of you watching out there. Thank you, by the way, yes. for turning up and tuning yes, in. We're, we're talking about 3.1 in this live stream as well as showcasing mm -hmm. um, well, the Challenger and the crate. Yep. And I'm going to be playing, flying the crate very soon. Cool. And I'm, I know everybody out there is like, oh, it's not fair. I want to play it now. They can I play it on Thursday. I want to play it. I want, I want to fly it. It's fine. Right, let's right. go to outfitting. Yeah, let's go to outfitting so that we can show these lovely people uh, the numbers so, so that we can... Jump there. Yeah, we can all be... Um, someone said, nice morning, lads. Nice Akira shirt, Mickey said. But Good nice morning. Akira shirt, Ed. Oh, sad Will. <laughs> I'm, so I'm Will. Hi, Mickey. Oh, he corrected himself. Thank you, Mickey. Yeah, I'm Will. And this is Ed. For today, this is Steve Kirby, principal game designer on yes. Elite Dangerous. Uh, Here we are. Where should I go? Yes. Steve? Why don't you well, take the controls? I'll take Steve. the controls. So, yeah. so as we said, we can we can just quickly rattle through uh, yeah. what we've got. So, as you can see, we've got one large, three medium, yeah. and three small hard points. Yes. So, you know, you're going to get be able to get a good range of weapons on those. They're positioned both above and below the ship. So, um, and with um, the other, um, with the chieftain as well, they're. So nicely centralised, so you, yeah. you can get um, actually get a nice uh, firing arc on those. So you know, fixed weapons are, are quite useful on these. Um, is this strictly a combat ship, or is it multiple? I would say no, no. This is, I mean, the, this is a combat ship. Um, so I mean, it, it, it is built for that, and you'll see why in a moment. Um, so we have four utilities. So you put things like shield boosters, chaffs, and various scanners and various things on that. Uh, and then when we get to the core internals. So just so I don't get this wrong, I yep. can read it on screen. Uh, we have yes, the the standard one, sl uh, one slot for bulkheads. Yep. We have two size six, two size fives, another size six for distributor. Mm -hmm. Sensors are a four, fuel tank is a four. So it's not going to hold the biggest fuel tanks, no. but I mean, it's, as but when you're fighting, ship, you don't really need no, to. No, I mean, but yeah. it's it's thrusters and it's uh, it's power plant. This distributor should yeah should give it enough oomph to um, to be able to equip. Do, what you need on those? Do we know what sort of jump range we can expect from? Um, from well, jump range is obviously vary. Yeah. Um, so I mean, similar to the chieftain, um, as I said, it's a tiny bit heavier, but I mean, the, the numbers are small enough that it, it doesn't really matter all that much. I think we got a chieftain up to about thirty something, thirty yeah, light years approximately. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> obviously, if you if you strip it down, if you you know you put lightweight things on it, yeah. you engineer it to be lightweight, then yeah, you're going to somewhere around the thirty-ish mark, yeah. I think. Um, behind so, me. So, yeah, the, what's behind you? Challenger. It's right yeah. behind us, Steve. Uh -huh. There it is. There. Cool. Um, so, yeah, so again, mm. we just grabbed the stock thing. So, yes. you can see you've got two size six internals, two size threes, some size twos, and then three size, size fours. Now, this is where it makes it a combat ship, because these size fours are military compartments. Yes. So, they can only stop. Um, have military um, modules yeah. put in them. So, yeah, I mean, it's not going to be a, a great exploration ship. It's not that's going to be, clearly it, focused, it for, focused for fighting. for combat, yeah. so, yeah. So that's why, yeah, what we're saying, we've determined, yeah, 
it's it's actually a combat ship on there. It's worth mentioning that there is a jump range just here. There is. I mean, that's but that's very that's, basic. I mean, that is minuscule. And that, as I said, we've we've yeah. not we've not equipped this with anything. I mean, that that will go up quite yeah. quite easily when but when you, you start when you to start improve it. the module yeah, and then engineer improve, that module as well. Yeah, put your yeah a larger frame shift drive in it and uh, strip out your modules, yeah. then engineer stuff. That will go up and up and up. But yeah, it's a very basic. I mean, out of the gate, it'll get about eight light years. Mm -hmm. um, but that will be massively improved. Uh, so yeah, yeah. Um, so that. I wanted to ask you a question. Go for it. Are you ready for this? Probably not. Is everybody else out there ready for this? Aside from the Challenger and the crate, which we have spoke about, mm -hmm. what else is coming in three point one? What do we have as a general what do we sort have? of as a general thing? Let's let's, let's talk about what own. we can expect, and then we're going to go and explore some of it as well. Okay. Um, so obviously we've got uh, new mining-related wing missions. Yes. We, I'm going to read it. So we've, we've put the, uh, the installations now have the similar interactions as uh, the megaships we put in in 3.0. Yeah. So uh, these are uh, things to, to scan. You've got turrets, you've got comms rays, you've got cargo bays. Mm -hmm. So you can go and pirate and, and interact with these in the same way you can with the megaships. Yeah. Um, you've also, uh, I mean, there's a couple of others. There's uh, maintenance hatches and things. Um, and... Uh, a lot of the, or some of the installations tend to have um, trespass zones and uh, restrict access as well. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so you want to, you know, that, that's a slight difference in the gameplay there. Um, obviously, using silent running is, is a great way of exploring these things without actually um, causing yourself too many crimes. Mm -hmm. uh, we've got some Guardian weaponry and new technologies coming, coming out on Thursday. Um, We've got uh, some new, uh, obviously some new locations. Yeah. Uh, so some new settlements, some new narrative to find, uh, some new lore. Uh, so we've got some new Thargoid ships uh, are going to be added in uh, into the mix. So to, to basically augment, um, yeah, the Thargoid attacks and incursions that we've been seeing lately. Yeah. Um, so yeah, and I've noticed you sneakily. Ah. ah. So as I said. This is a hot build. We're going to fix that uh, very right. shortly. Here we go. There we go. It's all fine. Yes. Uh, you can't see what we're seeing, but it's amazing. <laughs> you, you, ah, uh, so cool. Look at it, Steve. Yes. This UI. Do you want to change the screen so they can see it? No. This is the you rest of the stream. It, you can't everybody. keep it all to yourself. This is a tease stream. I'm not showing you anything. <laughs> you okay. Can't go on. Right. So. So, um, do you want to just show off the outfitting, and yeah. then I'll I'll jump in it and fly yeah. out. Yeah, no worries. Um, yes, hashtag hot build. It is a hot build. It we is are, a hot build. We are using a dev build so, because it's not out yet. Welcome um, to the crate, everybody. So I'm going to look at my notes again. So, so yeah, this is the crate Mark II. Mark II. Uh, so the people who obviously played uh, Elite back in the day, uh, back in 1984, uh, know about the crate. It was a small mm -hmm. uh, combat ship. So the Crate Mark II is actually a medium, uh, and it's more of a multi-role ship with a slight aim to misbehave. So, uh. so yeah, it's 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 you know, well, it is multi-role. It, it has some little features that that can make it um, make it good for those who maybe stray on the, the slightly greyer side of the law. Nefarious <laughs> acts, maybe, mm. Mm, maybe. Um, so it's made by Falcon de Lacey. Uh, it is, uh, again, an independent ship, so there's no rank requirements to unlock, unlock this lovely thing. Uh, I will then go through the stats just to very quickly rattle this off. So we have three large hard points all on the top of the ship. They just sit on top of there. And they sit on and top. Look they're, in a, they're in a, a triangular formation, so you've got two and then one central. So Shall we get some stuff on that? Yeah, let's, let's get some let's stuff on that. Let's, see how let's, it looks. let's equip this bad boy. Uh, I'm going to I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to have the cheapest lasers. Lasers. No, I want that Let's one. go. We've there got we go. a lot of uh, money here. We do. Tell you what, I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna put. Um, we're using Ed's money, aren't we? So we're using Ed's money. We don't have right. to worry. We don't have to worry about this. Right. Um. Oops. Tell you what, I know I'm putting on gimbaled weapons, but hey, it's a live stream. Hey. When you've got a really focused, focused. When you've really got a focus on. Um, just gonna, just Blowing gonna, up enemies, I'm just it's gonna, easier. I'm just, put, I'm just going to put some, <coughs> some, 
some of these bad boys on there. Three large turrets. We've got oh, three, well, three, three large, large lasers here. Gimbaled, yeah, so gimbal lasers. So you can see that they're in a, in a tri-formation on the top of the yeah, ship. Yeah, okay, see them. Yeah. And then I'm going to swap some of this out for, tell you what, I'm going to grab some more cannons. Of course, cannons. classic old, trusty. Trusty multi cannons, in fact. Those ones? Yeah, that'll do. That'll be nice. So now these ones are particularly nice because they're down um, within view of the cockpit. Yeah. So you can yeah you can actually see them uh, see them going off when you when you start firing, uh, which is a particularly, look to the right and left. Particularly a nice feature. I mean, just in your peripheral vision, you can you can you can see you it. can see them. Yeah. Oh, that's when, you, when you when you open fire, you can really see them. And I mean, it does have uh, two additional multi crew seats. So I mean, where the multi crew seats, you can see from that view. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the, the multi -cruise, cruise seats are either side of the pilot, but they get their own kind of mini cockpit on the side. So you they're going to see they get it really amazing, going, yeah, yeah. They, they get an amazing view out of those. So it's actually a really nice ship to multi crew in. Um, it does have a fighter bay, so uh, you, can equip, fire bay. you can equip a, uh, a, a lovely fighter on here. So I think, we I think we see that, and if, if not the uh, uh, video itself, there's some screenshots out there as well. But yeah. uh, I'm just going to quickly looks cool. quickly rattle through this. If you want to <laughs> ask me some questions, I can. Uh, yeah, I'll try and grab. So, if not, anyone has not. any questions about the crate, especially now is your time to ask them. We're going to be flying this uh, baby, or for the rest of the live stream, in fact. But uh, yeah, if you have any questions right now, know, just get them, it. Just, just get them into the chat, and we'll make sure to answer them. Put, um, I can put a heat sink on it, just, just because. There we go. So we've, we've equipped some utility slots. So there are four utility slots. Um, so they are both <laughs> above, yeah, two above, two below. Yeah. Um, so then we can look at the core internals. So we have the standard one for your bulkheads. So I am actually going to put, I'm going to put some military things on this. So let's it'll make it a bit heavy, but we're not we're not planning on jumping too far. Mm -hmm. uh, it's a size seven power plant. So we can. Just rinse as much money yeah, as we this can is it. from we can it. Just do this. So a size six thrusters. Daniel Rowland says mm -hmm. the crate used to be hot rodded for illegal racing and piracy. It did. Does yeah. the new one follow the family history? Well, it's not. It's not been released out into the galaxy. The new version yet. Uh, no, but so, uh, you know, yes. as I said, we, we did when we looked at the crate. We did want to. We yeah. We know about the pirate lineage. We know about yeah. Wanting uh, this to be a ship that that. Looks like it could be modded by, by various people. So, mm -hmm. uh, yeah, I mean, we, we've tried to stay true to that, but while also making it, uh, I mean, it's a, a, a nimble ship, it's, it's maneuverable. Um, it's, you know, it's, I wouldn't say it's the fastest ship out there, but it's, yeah. no, it's no slouch. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, you, you've, uh, we've tried to stay true to those, those kind of themes. Um, and so, as I said, with an aim to misbehave. So, it, it's, it's always that. They're kind of like, oh yeah, you know, this this could be a decent smuggler. It could be something where you go and do, you know, maybe some some missions or black ops or, yeah, you know, it, it's it's that sort of that sort of ship. Um, so I'll just leave leave the fuel tank. Um, just going to go through here very quickly. Um, so we. So uh, sorry, I know this is a shield generator. I don't know, pop a. Just going to do that. So yeah, if there are any more questions, just do please, uh, please shout. Uh, so, so I'm going to stick a fight hanger in here. Don't necessarily need the cargo rack. So let's just exchange that. Got to utilise the fighter, surely. That's it. And I'm going to yes. pop in. <coughs> Where's the one? Um, we don't have any information at the moment about future paint jobs. Was. We do have a crate related. Uh, thing to give away. Uh, I'll have more details cool. about what that thing is on launch, uh, but we will pick winners this evening um, towards the end of the stream. So stick around for that. Sorry, I'm just going to. Yeah, let's. Uh, well, so the price, the price for this is between forty to forty-five million, approximately. Uh, approximately, yeah. We, yeah. Sorry, people asking about the price. Yeah, it's yeah. about forty million. It fits kind of between uh, the um, the gunships and the uh, the Python. Kind of around that that kind of price point. Um, so I need hatchbreaker. So yeah, designed designed as a multi-role ship. Yes. Um, primarily, but it has a few tricks up its sleeve. Yeah, it has a, has a few few bits and pieces. So, more questions. Sorry, just quickly rattle through the optionals. I should have should yeah, have, have a look, been yeah. saying there. So again, we've got a decent number, similar to um, you know the Python and things like that. So we've got two size sixes, 
two size fives, mm -hmm. a size four, uh, two size threes, a size two, and the size one for your pantry approach suite with Horizons. Um, so, question from Emil here, will mm -hmm. the crate be available in Colonia at launch? Uh, I will double check the shipyards. Uh, I don't actually know the answer to that, but that's a yeah. good question. I will, I will definitely go and check the, um, check the shipyards and see if, if one is going to uh, pop up there. Yeah. Uh, so that, I probably don't want those in there. Uh, I want those in there. Zalian here says, how much cargo will this ship carry? Do we, can we work out how much cable um, cargo? It how can, much cargo it can carry uh, very quickly. Let's take a look. Um, I mean, if you, if you sw swapped it out, so you'd yeah. probably get in there. I'm not actually going to do it, but you'd probably end up with, if you've got a 6A, so you've got 64, What's that? One two eight. Uh, you're probably looking about two hundred and something tons, maybe. At a, at a guess, just at looking guess, at looking rough, at through. We guess. don't have the exact numbers, but at yeah. a guess. Um, okay, that's something very, that's very cool. Anyway, so we so we have we have the crate. And it's all there lovely. It is. So let's go and explore some of the installation interactions. That uh, have well, you want to jump to that, or is I'm going to go to the actually. I'm going to go to uh, a mega ship interaction, if you don't mind. You go ahead. You're wait a second. Hang on a second. Wait, wait, Steve. Um, you are flying it, and I think it was me who was going to fly it first on the live stream. Yeah, it was me that was going to fly it first on the live stream. That was very true. It's me. It's me that's flying it. Ooh, you're going to crash it. You don't deserve to fly <laughs> it, Steve. You don't deserve to. Well, Steve has commandeered um, what was supposed to be my crate. And I guess you're flying it now, Steve. I'm flying the crate, look. It's great. It that looks good. awesome. It does. It. Can we have a little spin around? Let's have a little look at it. If you're if you're commandeering it off me, um, then you 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 have to show it off too. Right then. So I'm just going to tap that. There we so go. You can see it. Look at it. Just do a nice little spin around. I really like the position of the cockpit. I like it that it's yeah. down there and you can see the weapons. Well, it's also, it's not just weapons, but it's got a good view of, um, I mean, down below as well. So it's, yeah. it's good for kind of scouting um, uh, scouting planets and things like that. So yeah, you can see you've got, you've got your multi-crew seats either side. Mm, they want a taste of the sound. They want a taste of the sound. Let's, let's we'll boost on this. So let's let's just hit it. The sound team, of course, um, have done an amazing job on all oh, of the ships they always every do. time. But yeah, I mean, it's it's got a nice, a nice feel to it. Uh, so yeah. Well, the the FSD boosters come back with 3.1 and the crate. They, uh, I believe, the FSD boosters are coming back in. 3.1. There you yes. go. Yes, they have been uh, been looked at and been tweaked and fixed, and uh, yeah, they they are due to come back live. Uh, Malik is asking if we can um, jump in back into the cockpit and look around just to see what visibility we have. Yes, uh, Malik, um, Malik VR loves to VR. do plays yeah. in VR. Yeah, and, uh, perhaps let's just deploy the very very deploy the hard points so you can see what I mean about you know you are going to get a, a view of. Yeah, you know, especially in VR, you're going to get a view of your, your, yeah, your. There you go. Look at that. That's so cool. Kind of thing kind of just, just there. Going off. Just love that. So yeah, it's awesome. It is very cool. Um, is it a large so, or medium yeah. ship? It is a medium ship. So yeah. it's a medium multi-role ship. Um, yes. So yes. It's cool. Yeah. Very cool. And everyone will be able to get their hands on it. Uh, well, everyone, is it available to Horizons or...? Uh, it's uh, Horizons. Horizons only. So yes. if you're owner of Horizons, you'll be able to play it on Thursday. Yes, you will. This Thursday. So I'll just go. Okay. Looks like the cousin of the Millennium Falcon. Mm. Well, that's high praise indeed. That's high praise Thank indeed. You. Thank you very much for that. Um, uh, what are you trying to do? I'm, uh, I'm just pushing the wrong buttons. Push them all. Pushing the wrong buttons. Yes. I mean, yeah, it is, I must admit, it is one of the, <coughs> I think, one of my favourite looking ships. It looks uh, when, cool. When we, it just looks yeah, cool. Yeah, when we're going through, um, I mean, Chris and the guys, um, and John Kelly, and yeah, all, all the guys who've worked on this ship, 
yeah, where we were having the, the kind of discussions of, oh, yeah, what should it look like? And then can we, I don't know who came up with the idea of, oh, wouldn't it be, I mean, we, we wanted to make sure that the original shape, mm -hmm. the silhouette, if you're seeing it from above, the silhouette is, is you know close to is. the classic, yeah, yeah, yeah. the classic crate. Um, but then having the idea of actually having the, the a lot of the ship underneath, yeah, um, rather than you know, built on top like you know, a lot of ships are, yeah, um, was just I think a masterstroke. And it was my, my favourite really feature of this of this ship is seeing those hard points right next to you yeah, firing. Just, yeah, I think seeing, that looks so cool. Going off is, yeah. is really really cool. <laughs> Uh, so yeah, we're just gonna. Have you got limpets with you? I do have limpets with Great. me. Great, good. Uh... <laughs> Go back and get limpets. Well, I'll tell you what. Jiggery pokery. I'm going to do some jiggery pokery. I'm very sorry. I wouldn't usually do this on live stream, but well, that's what the the joy of a hot build here. Oh, Steve. Well, we might have to go back to. No, we're going back to. <laughs> we're going back to Jameson. It's not working. Well, there you go. Hot build for you. Um, so we can have to go and get the limpets, mm -hmm. Pirate Wendy. It's always, are, it's always the way. I'm the worst pirate in the world. It's because you commandeered it from from the Galactic Intern. Oh, you're saying it's karma? It's yeah. It's it's the the result of um, unwholesome actions. <laughs> you thief! You thief! How is it flying it on the live stream for the first time? It, you now get to dock in it, it as well. It's glorious. <laughs> Good luck. Everybody's <laughs> watching them. Everybody's watching. Synthesize them. I don't know if we have the materials. I'm pretty sure we don't have the materials. We may have the materials on our uh, on the cosmic cadet, but not on the cosmic cadet, unfortunately. No. Oh. No, don't have the materials. We don't have the. We're gonna just go and buy some. It's Ed's materials. Yes. <clears throat> The Galactic Intern is not here. We're, we're stealing his ship this evening. Well, let's fix that. Let's not do that, right? So, well, while I'm doing this, does anyone have any more questions? Oh, we do have a question here. Go will, for it. will Guardian module unlock requirements be lowered? Ooh, actually, we can show. I might be able to show something like that in a moment. So yeah. we'll answer that question. Keep it. Keep, keep, keep it. Remember it. Remember it. We're remembering it. We will make yes. sure to show you. Maybe it's better to see it than to hear it. Well, yes. I'm sure you want to hear it too. So, well, I mean, the, the short answer is yes. Thank you. Uh, that's the short answer. Yes, we um, are. We are. Yes, we have lowered the requirements for those guard, certain yes. guardian, guardian modules for sure. Yes. Yes, we we listened to the the community on that and went okay. Yep, yeah, we can we can certainly look at that and and yeah, they they have been adjusted. How fast is the crate compared to other medium-sized ships? Um, well, I've had my one up to... Um, whoops, hello. Sorry, I didn't think about that. Uh, I've had mine up to about 360-something metres per second. I mean, that's not the fastest, but mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've been... You start to engineer that. Um, yeah, I course. mean, you start to engineer that. I mean, that, that's mm -hmm. literally just slapping some, some modules on it. Um, Rune Jonas Jonathan here says thanks for listening to Community on the Guardian. Well. I'm what? wondering why I can't jump out. Have you stolen focus off me? Oh no. Oh no, what's going on here? Hot build. Why has that happened? I don't know. I think it's because you pressed all the buttons. <laughs> here we go. We're all fine. Everything's good. Hashtag hot build. That was desktop of shame. Revealed the desktop well, re of shame. Revealed the desktop of shame. It's just a folder, lovely folder. Um, let's see. There we go. There we go. That's better. Right. Just boost again. Let's go in. There we go. Yeah. If you do have any questions about the crate, about three point one yep. and the content coming in three point one, please, please yeah. put them in the chat, and we'll we'll be sure to try. Yes, my files. My files were, were there. Um, it's just delete dangerous files. So, be all right. Everything's fine. Hot build. 
Uh, Commander Nexus, hi, hi Will. Could Ooh, we have news on the Holo ad entries, please? Uh, so, in, in regards to the Holo ad entries, um, we received loads. We went through yes, them we went the other day. Them. Yeah, we went through them last um, week. We've got uh, we've shortlisted a, f a fair few, and we just need to go f through and uh, make sure they are all suitable for the game. Mm -hmm. And once they are, we'll contact those shortlisted um, winners, and then we'll also publish them because there are some we need to to edit. So yes, the Holo ad entry competition has not been forgotten. Yeah. Um, it just takes some time to. Yeah, I mean, we've just got to, yeah, we've just got to. I mean, there are a lot of entries to go through. Loads. And uh, yeah, them. and so yeah, that that has that has now happened. Um, so yeah, we can hopefully be in contact. Or will can hopefully be in contact very soon. Yes. Um, does the crate have more of an emphasis on armor or shields? Says Shadow Slayer two zero um, five. So it's. I'm just going to check my notes. Um, so, I mean, it, it's. So if you're comparing it to something um, akin to uh, the Python, mm -hmm. possibly the gunships, um, it has slightly less armor though. So it's more yep. about maneuverability, um, potentially running at a lower heat so that you're not being detected as much, um, so and being you know basically fast maneuverable and a bit sneaky, um, rather than out and out armor. So I mean face to face, I still think a Python would. Yeah, if they're kitted out in similar builds, yeah. similar mods, similar level of engineering, uh, I think yeah, a Python might have the edge in direct combat. Right. But that's that's literally you stood them face to face and you start shooting yeah. each other because. But it doesn't um, always. But it doesn't work always like work that. like that now because yeah. then you've got the pilot and then you've got the maneuverability of the ship. You know, other ships. And other, other ships and all, and all, all sorts, sorts of stuff. things. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, so you know, but it's it's comparable to. to to those ships. So um, how works. many cup holders does the crate have? Asked Steve Ross. Um, it, I believe it has four cup holders. Four cup holders. Well, one for each pilot and then the spare. And the spare cup holder. I mean, which you've is got a very spare cup holder. I mean, just somewhere plonked on yeah. the ship. Yeah. Uh, so I'm just going yeah. to to answer questions. Are that. these new ships faction locked? They are not faction locked. Neither of the two we're showing tonight are faction locked at all. Uh, one, I know it's the Alliance um, Challenger. But uh, it is it is not not factual. Locked. Great. So, and the crate is, is an independent ship. So um, so yeah, we can we can basically see to ah, answer that, that there you go. person's question earlier. So on screen now, um, we've got the a Guardian Tech Broker, or a Tech Broker dealing in Guardian Tech. Yep. Uh, one of the the things that um, is coming in three point one in in the next chapter. Mm -hmm. uh, we are uh, obviously releasing some larger uh, Guardian weapons. Um, and we've also yeah reduced the the costs of the Guardian modules quite considerably uh, from from here. So as you can see, there's a lot of you know if you compared those numbers to the, the previous yeah, ones, yeah. you would see yeah there was a, quite a considerable still there's reduction. still a number to collect. There's for still components, a number to, yeah there's course. still a number to collect. It's still you know we're, we're never going to say oh yeah you get have this one thing and you hand it in. And you, yeah, there is a recipe to to or a blueprint to. Um, to maintain, but yeah, we understood that obviously there's maybe a bit too much uh, to do and too much repetition, yes. so we wanted to release uh, release you from that. So, and um, Samuel Galvao, sorry if I said your name wrong, Galvao mm -hmm. says talk about the redacted stuff. So in the announcement of the release date, I I wrote redacted, and that was in fact the crate um, Mark II, which we were redacting there because the teaser trailer in fact showed mm -hmm. the crate. So that's what redacted refers to there. Um, yes. Are you scared of me, Steve? Am I scared of you? Because you stole the crate off me. There you go, Will. I'm going to just, I'm just going to fly it for a second. And there you go. Right, so. Uh, you you said you only wanted it for a second. Hands. These small but strong hands. <laughs> I should really put my hard points away before uh, everyone's Steve, laughing at me the now. Cows. Steve, look what you've done. What have I done? I've not done a thing. We've got limpets. We've got limpets. Did you get limpets? I got limpets. Good. We've got limpets <laughs> this time. I'm going. That's it. I'm out of here. <laughs> you guys forgot the limpets. Yes. Yes, yeah, so it wouldn't be a, a live stream if we didn't forget something. And um, yeah, we forgot the limpets. No, but they're saying you forgot limpets again. No, I didn't. Limpets. Quite we've got them. limpets, everybody. Don't worry, it's we've fine. got limpets. They were trying to trick you. I think. They're trying. They're trying. They to tricked get, me. Yeah. Well. Um, uh, right. 
So I wanted to go and visit this. Whoops. Yep. That oh, we'll go to that one. We're going to go to this. We're going to, to a off. mega ship, right? We're going to a mega ship. Yeah. So yeah. one of the things we've we've added um, uh, are a couple of other interactions. Um, so while we put the suite of interaction objects onto the installations and and given those a, a, a pass over, yeah. we also you know we're not stopping there. We're, we're saying right, we wanted to throw in a, co a couple of new ones. So uh, the installations have a maintenance hatch, uh, which is hackable or shootable depending on on your style of play and yeah. what, if you want to go in guns blazing or you want to be a bit sneaky. And on the mega ships, um, particularly the damaged mega ships and the Thargoid damaged mega ships. We wanted to add um, something, so we, we put in some uh, escape hatches. Ah. So it allows uh, players who are interested in, in kind of being the hero, being a search and rescue pilot, and things like that. Not um, just sort of. Not a just a, yeah, not just oh, I'm going breaking to the rules. Pilot. Exactly. Yeah. We, want, we want to give a balance of gameplay, and while we we added you know a lot of the the kind of piratey things in 3.0, we yeah. want to then sort of bring in some of the other things, so to to allow you to do things which are are legal. And um, not illegal, but quite nice to do. So, and uh, yeah, hopefully this is something that we can continue on <laughs> and continue on making these scenarios better and better and better. Yeah. So, oops, just need to slow down a wee bit. Um, Joshua Lightfoot asks, will I have mm -hmm. to unlock my Guardian Ghost Cannons again to get the Class 3 version of it? Uh, so the uh, the large version is actually a separate um, thing from from the the standard version. So you, so yeah. So you, you need to unlock the larger version separately. Yeah. Um, what else we've got there? Well, that's it. Sorry, I'm just. Will there be missions to tie into these activities? I believe not at the moment. Uh, not at the moment. Nothing to announce yet. Yeah. Um, so obviously we we want to integrate everything into, uh, you know, into every aspect of the game. And yeah. This just takes a bit of time. So you know, nothing to announce yet, but. Um, yeah, we're never stopping working on the scenarios. We never stop working on the mission system. Yeah, so these are things that are in constant development. Yes, and, and constant improvement. So, yeah, we will be, yeah, giving, uh, you know, trying to do certain things like that. Yeah. Uh, there are lots of mentions about the Hotas and controller. Um, mm -hmm. Sometimes we use a controller. Sometimes we use a Hotas. Usually, I'm using a Hotas on yeah. PS4. Um, it just depends on the live stream. Course, you have courses, a Hotas. Courses. Yeah, you yeah. have a Hotas on your desk. I do. Yes, yeah. I have. I have a very lovely one on my yes. desk. Um, so, as we can see, we've we have a. I'll tell you one thing I haven't done. There's, there's the mere little data link scanner. I don't know if we have the number of its it, uh, the crates max speed after being engineered. Um, uh, I don't have those stats yeah. on me. Um, I think base level we we achieved something like three hundred. Yeah, I mean, I, I've I've had mine up to uh, three hundred and sixty, and that's just A graded base, you know, base things. For those who aren't aware of what you're doing right now, what what are uh, you doing here? Talk so, us through the entire process. Okay, so the entire process. So when you encounter uh, mega ships, um, other structures in space. Uh, we have a system where uh, you can interrogate those using the data link scanner. So mm -hmm. you you target this the in this case the ship, mm -hmm. and you run your data link scanner. This um, shows up all the interactive objects. So where there's uh, the cargo bays, mm -hmm. the turrets, various other things that you can in directly interact with and you yeah. can interrogate. Um, it shows them up and it pops them into your context panel, uh -huh. so we can see that. So you scan that now. Yeah. So we can see that actually this has an automated defence turret, yeah. it has a cargo bay, and the thing we're actually interested in, an it has an escape hatch. hatch. This uh, mega ship looks worse for wear. Uh, yeah, it looks like it. I mean, this has obviously had some form of, uh, of attack on it. Mm. Uh, there will be somewhere on this ship, uh, there will be a um, communications link mm -hmm. um, that will allow you to actually fi find out a little bit of snippet of information on a little bit of narrative on uh, on what exactly happened. It does not look like it's in good condition at it, all. It it has seen the better days. But, uh, yeah, I'm I'm not sure. You know. So you're locating the people. escape hatch. So yeah, there. so I've located the the escape hatch. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to head towards this. Um, so I'm going to. Brawny Fanta says this mega ship has been boost landed by Will, which is now a new term. <laughs> well, Will boost landing. Boost landing. Can we can we just call you boost lander? Boost lander. Um, they call me boost lander. They call me boost lander. Yeah. Okay. I, I, I dreamed to fly a crate, but it was stolen from me by Steve Kirby, that Wendy guy. 
So uh, I'm going to... Here we go. Yeah, so remember my controls. And I'm going to... Right. I'm going to actually... You've got to scan it first? Uh, you don't have to. Um, yeah. Well, to... Well, say that. You have to... Uh, in order to interact with it, yes, you will need to scan it. So... Um, but you can use various different, different scanners. I'm now backing up again, which I didn't mean to do, because um, I'm trying to do three things at once with my, my poor brain. At a glance, can you tell us um, the, how does the jump range compare to the Python? Or uh, something you'd need numbers it's on? Something I'd need to check the numbers on. I think it, it's comparable, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, what, where we wanted to fit the ship was between the Python and the kind of the gunships. Mm -hmm. and. Um, and that kind of uh, the, the kind of class-based military ship, so the, the Imperial. I'm going to get this wrong. Clipper, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's the Clipper, and yeah, the, the Federal gunships, and the Python. So, we, but we wanted to nudge it towards the end of the Python. You know, so so we kind of push it out. So it should be comparable um, to that. Uh, but I don't have exact figures, so I'm not going to not going to spout say the exactly. numbers. Of course, I'm not um, going to just spout numbers. we will of course have um, patch notes as well as this goes out. Yeah. So uh, on Thursday. So just to quickly interject here, mm -hmm. this update 3.1 is coming out this week, Thursday. Thursday, the twenty yes. eighth of so, June. So, so, so that's that's really soon. That's two days. Yeah. So I can actually see there are that's some damaged escape some pods. Some damaged and occupied. occupied escape pods, and because I've scanned thing that I've interrogated, I found a limpet docking point. And then I'm going to fire a hatchbreaker. Now, usually mm -hmm. on uh, various objects, uh, firing a hatchbreaker onto it would be illegal. If you yes. fire that onto another player's ship or uh, an NPC ship, or you fire it onto a megaship cargo bay, it would be an illegal act. Mm -hmm. Obviously, with an escape pod, we don't want that to be illegal. Yeah. So, um, so the escape pods are the exception. And then here they are. Here are our lovely escape pods, which we can scoop should we want to. Um, so but you've got collectors here. You just well, I'm just toying with you. So I'm going to drop my cargo scoop and I'm going to fire off. Wow! Fire off a collector, and I'll I will scoop these lovely people, and then I'll be able to hand those back in to a search and rescue contact. Yeah. Uh, get a bit of a reward, uh, and yeah, get the warm fuzzies about uh, rescuing so people from thing. deep space. They did a good thing, and this is something that we, you know, it's it's a theme that we introduced in two point four, I believe, with the search and rescue contact, mm -hmm. and it's something that we're we're building up, and, and um, yeah, I mean, it's the case we know that not everybody wants to be a space pirate, not everybody wants to be, you know, the, the bad the guys. bad guy. Um, so, whoops, oh, that's all right, just a scratch. Um, so yeah, so we we. Basically, want to want to give people the opportunity to play in various different ways, yeah. which is what Elite's all about. It's all about playing your way. So, shall we yeah. hear? Shall we hear the boost? Let's hear the boost. Yeah, if I pop all the pips and engines, so we're up to two seven six, uh, three seven six. Sorry, um, and maximum kind of maximum boost. So three seven seven. So yeah, I mean, and as I said, if you engineer that, you make things lightweight. You'll probably get a bit more out of that. Yeah. I personally want to, uh, I haven't yet, but I really would like to take mine um, uh, canyon racing. Oh, um, see it. So, yeah, because, uh, you know, because of the, the uh, view from the cockpit, I, I just want to just try, try to take that. I'm looking forward to seeing what Malik can do with it. Yeah, exactly. Get Malik um, to, oh, you could you could multi-crew with Malik. Here's a little shout out to Malik, who does yes. also can, awesome canyon running um, and lots of other stuff. You should check him out on Twitch. Malik yeah. underscore VR. Anyway, he's just some awesome stuff, and it would be really interesting to see what he does with the crate. Oh, I know definitely. he's out there. He was he was in the chat earlier. Um, so, just going over my notes. Mm -hmm. Your notes. Ah, oh, there you go. He says there. Don't yes. worry, I will. Um, in three point one, that launches this Thursday. We've got the we've got the um, installation interactions that are similar mm -hmm. to what's going on with the mega ships. You can interact. In, in, yep. with installations in a similar sort of way. Yeah, so there are both legal mm. and illegal mm. versions of those. So yep. there are, for example, I mean, some of the installations we have, we have a, a medical centre, uh, we have government built uh, installations, we yep. have military installations, pirate installations. So things you do there won't be, you know, you can actually go bounty hunting and, and take on the pirate, pirate bases. Um, are we just taking in turns? To, this doesn't count as flying the ship, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, we've got. Uh, sorry to interrupt so, so, you, there, Steve. But yeah, so so there, there's a good mix of, of activities to do yes. there. Um, we've got a new mining-related wing mission. We've got mm -hmm. Guardian weaponry and technology at Tech Brokers. Some new additions. Yes. And then we've also um, yeah, changed so. some of the requirements for those modules as well. We have. Yep. Um, what else do we have here? We have ah. Can't say too much because it's for you to discover your, for yourself. We've got mm -hmm. some Thargoid scouts. There are some new Thargoid ships coming. Yeah. What do uh, they do, Steve? Well, I'm not going to say because, uh, we, as you said, well, as you said, we don't try. want to spoil things. We don't we, want to. We spoil want things. you guys to to actually encounter these things um, and and find out for yourself. Uh, but they're designed to augment and and assist uh, the other ships. So yeah. yeah, it's it's kind of like yeah, the Thargoids. You know, maybe quiet now, but not for long. Hmm. Mm. Mm. <laughs> um, yes, of course, we've got the Alliance Challenger yes. as well that we showcased uh, a little bit before the crate, and then, of mm -hmm. course, the crate. Um, and, of course, there will be a full list of patch notes that will be coming yes. out as well, so you can see all the changes and all the additions that are coming in the game this Thursday. Mm -hmm. um, we've got some things to give away. Do we? We have some things to give away. Goody. We've got three crate-related things. <laughs> now... I believe it's a um, paint job, but I'm not entirely sure. It's, I, it's, I have crate on my, it's a crate-related thing. It's crate-related thing, and it's, it's going to be it's crate. It's an in-game thing. It's an in-game thing. Cool. So we're going to we're going to give away we're going to give away three of these. Awesome. Um, and all you need to do to be in with the chance to get one of these, I want you to write hashtag crate pun here. Yep. That's hashtag crate pun here. Crate I'm going to put here. it into chat so you know what you need to write. Don't actually write a pun. I want you no. to literally write hashtag crate pun here. Yeah, we have been seeing all the crate puns. Yes, and, and they are great. And they are crate, yes. Um, <laughs> That's oh, it's good, isn't it? <laughs> it's, it, is. it it's, it's the that. gift that keeps ah. on giving. Wow, that's going really, Loads of them, really loads fast. of them, loads of them. We're going to give away three of these, one to uh, each person. Mm -hmm. um, not every person. No. Just one, one to each, to person. each we winner. Have three to each winner. And we'll randomly select these winners. We're going to randomly select these winners um, with a very comprehensive system that we use here. Thank you. Um, it's exciting times. It is, yes. And it gets even more exciting from... from yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I mean, we've it's it's an exciting year. It's only chapter two. Yes, there's four chapters. There are. Count them. Four. One, two, three, four. That's it. Well done. How does it feel to have flown? Flown? I'm still flying. <laughs> to fly. Let's let's give another spin. Let's well, see let's it while we collect these. Well, you want to? You want to? A little spin outside. Once you've said it one time, folks, don't say it again. We only need one entry from you here. Um, loads of you. Hashtag crate bun here. It's going crazy. Crazy times here. Um, okay. Oh, such a good looking ship. Okay, stop saying it right now. If you've said it, stop saying it right now. I'm going to pick a winner in two minutes. In two minutes, yeah. I'm going to pick a winner. So I'm going to pick three winners, in fact. Um, yeah, nice little close up there. Look well, at that. Well, it just shows that. Yeah, the original. If you if you remember the original design of the crate, mm -hmm. yeah, it was it was pretty much a, di a diamond shape with the, the two prongs. Um, yeah, I think just it actually job, captures yeah, that that great. silhouette. Yeah. So yeah, if you saw that top down, it's like that's a crate, and then you actually see all the the details and the nuances about it. It's really yeah. cool. It's awesome, cool. awesome stuff. The team are doing an awesome job, and we've got more mm. to come in the future as well. Yes. If you haven't checked out the focus feedback forums yeah. um, on the forums, make sure you do because yeah, we're talking do. about squadrons, mining, um, and I think Sandy dropped a power play uh, topic yeah. a while back as a while well. Back, yeah, but but please do, yeah, please do, you know, check that out. It's really helpful to get your feedback and your. Mm -hmm. You know, your comments and, and your feelings about these sorts of things. So, yes. yeah, it's very, very helpful. Um, and it helps us make better informed decisions, I think. I mean, we obviously, we're making the, you know, we're making decisions. It's not designed by, by internet, but it is it is a case of it helps us um, a lot. And, and it, yeah, and it's good to just communicate with you guys. It's good to actually... Yeah, you know, we love, we love to hear your feedback yeah, on things. About um, as long as it's always... Done in a in a, well, a good way, respectful, a, a respectful, as long as it's way, respectful, yeah. as long as it's constructive. Yep. Um, then I coming. mean, yeah, keep it coming, please do. Um, so I'm going to pick our first winner. It is 22. Number 22. So I have to Your do time the, is up. Let's You've got go to do here. 
You're too, is, you're too young to remember track and field, aren't you? No, I did play a you lot did. of track and field. Yeah, just like um, we are getting I, a new system I, for I, this. I broke keyboard. Uh, <laughs> broke I, joysticks. Had it, I, had, I had it on the Commodore 64. Yeah. I was about to say I had it on the Commodore 64. It hurts just, your hand. You had to go backwards and forwards to run. Yeah. And I snap, I've snapped yeah, a joystick more than once. I hurt my hand when I did yeah. it. 22. So, our is first winner is the Pro Rock PL. Congratulations. So, congratulations. Uh, what you need to do is email us at community at frontier.co.uk um, saying that you won, and also message us on this YouTube channel as well saying that you, you won, um, and we'll get that over to you when yep. 3.1 launches, because it's not available at the moment, so mm -hmm. when it launches, we'll get that code yep. over to you. Uh, we've got two more winners to pick, of course, and let's go. It's, of course, it's really far away. <laughs> of course it is. So now we have to go all the way back. All the way back again, and it is number 132. So who do we have at 132? Just we'll get there in a moment. Oh come on, don't 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 draw it out too much. It's like, and the, the winner is, and then you the, do the long dramatic it's, pause. Yeah, it's the raffle. Which everybody knows is fake. It's not. And it's just like really, it's just there to build tension. Crucina, I'm gonna write this one. What was I saying? Cru Luchara. Crucina Luchara. You have also won. Congratulations. You win a crate thing that yep. we will give to you um, when 3.1 launches. Again, mm -hmm. email community at frontier.co.uk and this channel. Uh, one more winner. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. And 176. Go. What's it doing there? It's, going, it's freaking out. That's it's what it's doing. There. It's, it's going crazy. 136 is Nick Wilson. That's Nick Wilson. Nick Wilson. Nick, well, no, one, that's fine. 176, well, yeah. yeah. Um, confused me there for a Sorry. second, yeah. Steve. Uh, let's go, Nick Wilson. Again. Congratulations. Congratulations. You will get this thing when 3.1 yeah. launches, so make sure you email us at communityfrontier.co.uk. <laughs> yeah, I do too. <laughs> uh, and message this channel as well. That's cool. um, a big thanks to everyone who dropped by this evening. Yes, thank um, you. We're glad to hit, see your excitement for the next update. We've got loads coming as well for the rest of the year. Mm -hmm. So stick around, watch the live yeah, streams. There's lots of cool stuff coming. Yeah, we've, really I'm, cool I'm stuff. really excited. And yeah. yeah um, so yeah, thanks, thanks so much. Thank you, Steve, for joining me this evening. Thank you, Will. Um, and thank you, guys. And have a great evening. I look forward to seeing your crate screenshots and what you think of the crate. And uh, make sure you get it on the forums and stuff because yeah. we'll want to know. Uh, yeah, we're going to watch the Definitely. we watch the video one more time. Um, so we're going to jump to that right now. Uh, but thanks for joining us, and see you very, very soon. Space is cruel. You fly too high. They'll lock you right back down. Remind you just how small you are. How fragile. But I'm a pilot. A commander. Always will be. So give me a ship, a crew, maybe a little luck, and I'll show this galaxy what elite really means. See what's out there. Great, yes. <laughs> it's mine now, Steve. It's mine now.